Hey guys, so I just thought I'd uh, film a quick video um, just talking about um, the services that you can offer uh, if you are thinking of starting a SMMA. Um, if you don't know what an SMMA is, it's a social media marketing agency. Um, now, if you guys are new to the channel or whatever, um, first of all, I just want to say anyone who is here at the channel, uh, thanks a lot for all the support and the nice comments and things that I'm seeing. Um, seems like you guys actually uh, kind of get where I'm coming from uh, with the kind of vision for this channel and what I want to do um, and the kind of journey I want to take you on. So yeah, just gonna be a really quick video on um, some ideas um, as to what kind of services you can offer if you are unfamiliar with digital marketing. So I actually work in a agency currently, um, which is like an office based agency, um, lots of staff, 50 people, and we do the whole marketing journey from building the website to doing all the UX, the CRO, the PPC, the paid social, everything. Um, so with my agency, uh, I'm going to be doing just um, paid media, uh, like Facebook ads, Google ads, retargeting, that kind of thing, because that's what I do at my job now, so it's what I'm good at. Um, but it's just some ideas you guys can use as a building point, because really, when you're starting a social media marketing agency, the first thing you want to think about is, what are you going to do for your clients uh, in terms of uh, digital marketing? Are you going to be offering paid ads uh, like I'm doing? Is it just going to be Facebook ads? Will it be Google ads as well or just Google ads? Will you be doing um, Google shopping ads or a bit of both? Uh, will you be doing Snapchat ads, TikTok ads, that kind of thing? Um, so, I mean, I guess, I guess that brings us nicely into the first kind of category of services you want to offer as an SMMA um, is paid advertising. So this is, um, you know, the main two are Facebook ads and Google ads, um, but you may have heard of Snapchat, Snapchat ads, uh, TikTok ads, uh, that kind of thing. You can even do ads on like Pinterest and things. So any kind of paid advertising like that. And that's what I'll be doing as well. So you guys can obviously follow along and see how I do that. Um, the next thing would be Something that's a bit more, um, probably more expensive to set up and would require a bit more skill is funnel building for companies. Um, so any businesses out there looking for funnels, so this would be like email funnels, um, click funnels building, um, building sales pages for clients and then email lists and retargeting scripts in there so that it was all automated. So you could like build the full funnel for a client. This would be more like a one-off thing, but you could really, you know, you could build the funnel for someone and then like integrate paid advertising alongside that and just market the funnel for them. So that might be a really good route to go down. There's organic social, which is um, basically things like posting organically on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, that kind of thing. And these are just like organic posts. And I mean, the difficult thing with this one is like the results. So this is something that you could offer to clients, but probably for a lot cheaper than like paid advertising because it's much more difficult to track like results or even just get results through organic posting. Um, but if it's something that you guys are familiar with, it's probably more accessible for people, to be honest, to just be able to post for people, for companies. But this would be... One, beneficial because you could get smaller clients and yes, they would be paying less, but it would probably be easier to sell to them to like run Instagram pages for them. I mean, I've done it for like local businesses, just walked in and like uh, startups. Like there was a company that I did work for called Oliver's, which was like a restaurant and bar. I literally walked in when they opened and offered to do their website for them and all their social media marketing. And it was pretty easy. It was like my first client. I'll probably do a whole video on that story, but that was like the first time I ever sold my own thing. Um, and then... Finally, there's SEO. Uh, now, this is probably the one that requires the most skill, um, but this is like content writing, blog writing, things like that. Um, so SEO is, yeah, essentially it stands for search engine optimization. And this is the process of like making websites rank higher organically in Google. Um, so they're like the kind of four key things. Um, yeah, paid advertising, organic social, SEO, and funnel building slash web development. Um, and then the more sort of niche kind of topics you could go into uh, if you're starting an SMA is um, things like video editing and creating like short form content for companies. So taking like their longer form content, edit it, editing it down, putting text over it for use as a creative for paid advertising. And this is something you can tie in if you're doing paid advertising as well. But essentially there some ideas for you. And this is just really a really quick video, but I'll probably do more videos like this, by the way, just going into like some ideas for SMMAs. But if you are just starting out, that's kind of the thought process I go through. They're the main key things I focus on and research into, um, but definitely like paid advertising 
organic social and like funnel building is the main things to offer people because that's like a specialized skill when you learn it it's actually quite easy to learn like paid advertising and organic social all pretty easy to learn but once you've mastered it once you can sell it once you can implement it for other companies um then it's something that has like a high perceived value like a lot of companies will really pay people quite a lot of money to do paid advertising organic social things like that so yeah, they're the main things that you guys should be researching in if you are just starting out or thinking of starting out. And uh, yeah, hope this helps. See ya.